Alright, so propylene oxide is again, the last one we did was ethylene oxide, where you had two carbons, now you have three carbon. So you'll still have the space, because ethylene oxide was your smallest oxyrane. Now you have a methyl, so that you can have three carbons with the cyclic ether, so you would call this 2-methyl oxyrane for your IUPAC name. It's also a cyclic ether. And now you have two distinct sites where one is anti-Markovnikov side and the other one is Markovnikov side. So you're going to have two different types of nucleophiles attacking onto that electrophile to open the ring differently. So this is also in Chapter 11. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.